Good day to you all. Welcome back to my channel today. My name is Chekbo Um I have had a number of my audience asking for a video on how to perform a panel structural VAR. Okay, and today uh, this video is basically for how to estimate a panel structural VAR. And we are going to be using an approach provided by Pedroni in 2013. Um, for you to understand this uh, video very well and be able to apply this uh, uh, panel structural VAR, I will advise that you make reference to Pedroni 2013. Very, very important. Pedroni provided a very unique and um, sophisticated uh, framework for estimating the panel structural VAR. Now, before I proceed, I want to beg you to quickly subscribe to this channel if today is your first time of coming across and um, also share the video to your friends and colleagues. Uh, comment down below and like the video. Turn on the notification bell so that anytime video drops, you be among the first to see the video. Okay, now, first of all, we want to talk about the panel structural VAR by Pedroni. Now, why the panel structural VAR and what are the advantages of this uh, panel structural VAR provided by Pedroni in 2013? Now, this VAR, panel structural VAR, takes into account the responses to both idiosyncratic and common shocks while permitting full cross-section heterogeneity of the response dynamics. So, what this simply means that the Pedroni panel structural VAR is the disintegration of the orthogonal structural shocks into orthogonal common and idiosyncratic components. So this is very very important so we have uh, two unique shocks that are provided uh, in this uh, pedroni panel structural VAR. the common shocks and the idiosyncratic shock and these two shocks are what actually make up the composite shocks okay now this approach also performs uh, remarkably well at uncovering the properties of the sample distribution of the underlying structural dynamics even when the panel is relatively short as illustrated in the Monte Carlo simulation okay uh, please take note of all these and of course the simulation in question uh, shows that uh, the panel structural VAR can be used to improve inference for properties of the sample distribution and the dynamics of the individual country that lack adequate data for a conventional time series structural VAR. So these are the very important points to note here. And um, we are going to begin, of course the work file is ready for us. Uh, if you look at this work file, we have a panel work file. and. Um, uh, this is a panel work file and we are be, we'll be making this uh, video example with it. We have a panel of uh, 28 countries and um, the time coverage here is 1995 to 2015 giving us in total 588 observations. Of course we can see it here. Okay. Now where do, what do we do? We have three variables here the GDP, the GFDI, and TOP. These are the three variables we'll be working with. Okay? Remember that the video is for panel structural VAR according to Pedroni 2013. And this Pedroni panel structural VAR has been provided in the form of an add-in. And if you add-in, that can be implemented and executed to give us the results 
of impulse responses and various decomposition based on idiosyncratic shocks common shocks and of course composite shocks so please i still advise that somebody should a curious reader who wants to understand this very well should read or make reference to the pedroni 2013 document to understand the model structure so that um, when this result comes out we'll be able to interpret and um, uh, we are going to start okay like i said we have three variables here uh, here is the adding icon i have seen i have clicked on it we go to more from there we move to panel structural var you can see that you click ok now when you do that what comes out here in this box you see endogenous variables so all the variables are endogenous okay you enter the variables you enter the variables these are the three variables you can choose the number of maximum lags you may say okay you may choose four okay uh, you may choose four so that um, the lag length criteria can choose automatically the optimal lag so here you have a short run recursive we have long run recursive you can pick one of them that is that depends on your research problem now you can click on variance decomposition assuming you are also interested in having the variance decomposition result to come out you can click on save the impulse response function matrix and reference you have pedroni peter 2013 okay now this document is published in econometrics volume 1 issue 2 from page 180 to 206 now for lag length criterion you leave it at the default which this means uh, general to specific so the pedroni uh, lag length criterion is general to specific so everything remaining the way it is you can click ok and the result will run and come out so we have a lot of result that came out of this uh, i can close all these and begin to open them one after the other now if you look at this work file you have the first figure second figure third figure fourth fifth and sixth figure so we have six figures and these fig six figures are based on uh, both uh, all the shocks we have mentioned both uh, impulse response and variance decomposition and each shock for instance impulse response will come out three this is a response estimate to composite shocks okay impulse response of gdp to shock one that is e1 shock of course this has to do with a structural shock structural error shock okay so this one is for impulse response of gdp to e2 shock okay and this is based on composite shocks so after the composite shocks we're still on impulse response shocks this is common shock you can see the result this is based on common shock the same result that came out before also came out now this is common shock the third one is based on what idiosyncratic shock this is the result based on idiosyncratic shock okay and the other ones this is varying decomposition due to composite shocks whatever you see here is by based on variance decomposition okay the second one variance decomposition to common shock due to common shocks that's the result here the third one variance decomposition due to idiosyncratic shock that's these are the results okay of course the interpretation of this result remains uh, the same the way we, the same way we interpret the conventional time series uh, 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 structural var okay so this is a simple procedure for estimating this uh, model uh, pedroni uh, panel structural var for those who wish so with this uh, we have come to the end of this video 
uh, like I said, uh, I I advise you to read the Pedroni 2013 document. Pedroni 2013 document for a better understanding of the model structure, the theoretical uh, expositions, and how the models are uh, uh, structured. Very very easy to understand. Thank you very much for your time and um, kindly subscribe. Uh, like, share, comment down below, turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos. Thank you very much and remain blessed.